I'm the host of I'm Not Guilty. Get me out of here. The game show where the prize is a criminal sentence. And by the way, has no connection whatsoever to I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here. On the 19th of November, 2020, Mr. Lupin was warning his guard as he heard a crushing noise coming from over at the shed. Little did he know, three teenagers were stealing important items from his storage shed. He approached the door and he swung it open and screamed, Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Two of the teenagers ran away, one with red hair and the other with a cap. The third teenager sprayed Mr. Lupin with a fire extinguisher and then made a quick getaway. Sergeant Artichoke found the three teenagers outside of the Snapdragon Deli. There has been a recent theft and assault at a public garden. You three match the descriptions of the perpetrators. Please come with me. The suspects were taken in for questioning. My name is Jasmine. I am suspect number one. Miss Tomato. I am suspect number two. My name is Honeysuckle. I am suspect number three. They each admitted to being at the Plant Community Garden on the 19th of November 2020 and to knocking over some equipment. Jasmine admitted that she took the gloves and rose cutters and put them into Honeysuckle's bag. She also admitted that the whispers sound in Honeysuckle's backpack was hers. Then, we brought in a surprise. Mr Lupin, can you please tell me what happened? I am president of a local community garden. On 19th November 2020, I was gardening when I heard a crash in a shed. Please continue. As I walked towards the shed, I saw two young people run away. I walked towards the third young person who had their back to me. I couldn't tell whether the young person was a male or female, but the person came up to about my shoulder. I am 178 centimetres tall. I didn't get a very good look at the three young people. I didn't say their faces, but when two of them ran away, I saw that one of them had a long red hair. I think they were all wearing blue jeans and sneakers. Two of them were wearing black caps. The person who sprayed me was wearing a black cap. To recap the evidence revealed in the interviews of the teenagers and Mr Lupin. Evidence against Honeysuckle. None, really. Wait, that can't be right. Apart from the fact that she admitted to being at the plant community garden and knocking over some equipment, Mr Lupin's statement pretty much cleared her. Wait, the show talks back now? Oh, we have to bring Honeysuckle back to eliminate her. No, the first elimination is supposed to happen in like another half hour. Be quiet. You have, Honeysuckle, you have been brought back here due to recent evidence that has come to light in, do in Mr. Lupin's interview. Due to this, you will be given a juvenile caution for minor stealing and will have to return all stolen items to the plant community garden. You will also have to apologize to Mr. Lupin. I'm not guilty, get me out of here. Honeysuckle eliminated. Before I was rudely interrupted by Honeysuckle's elimination, I was just about to tell you about the evidence against Jasmine and about how she admitted to being at the plant community garden and knocking over some equipment. She was also found after her interview to have a white powder near her mouth and onto her shirt. Excuse me. Yes, Tomato. If the powder on Jasmine's face wasn't fire extinguisher powder, then why wasn't she taken to hospital? Well, duh, because it wasn't. Tomato, I'd call you a genius if you hadn't just proved yourself guilty. I've been called back here with recent evidence from our forensic experts who have informed us that the substance on your left cheek is in fact whispers. This is proof that you are not guilty of spraying Mr. Lupin as you would have severe irritation on your face. We know you are one of the two runaways as the whispers was in Honeysuckle's bag. You will be given a juvenile caution for money stealing and you'll have to return all stolen items to plant. You will also have to apologise to Mr. Wilkin. I'm not guilty! Get me out of here! Jasmine has been eliminated. And now for the evidence against Tomato. Just stop. We know you're the host, but we already know it's Tomato. I want to speak! Tomato, you have been called back here after the elimination of your two peers, Honeysuckle and Jasmine, and the receiving of some specially requested evidence, which is a footprint that was found at the Park Community Garden, for 
fingerprints on the fire extinguisher and the testing of your genes. The footprint found in the dirt contained traces of fire extinguisher powder and matched the sole of your shoe. The substance found on your pants is fire extinguisher powder. Additionally, the fingerprints found on the fire extinguisher match those of your hand. This evidence combined has proved that you committed the crime. You will be charged with common assault and stealing. You will have to apologize to Mr. Lupin and will spend six months of community service at the Point Garden. I'm guilty. Get me out of here. Tomato has been found guilty. Thanks for watching and I really hope you enjoyed the shortest episode ever of... I'm not guilty! Get